Listen and practice speaking skills. This is bliss. I never get tired of coming to the beach. Completely agree. It's the perfect escape from the daily grind, a place to recharge and unwind. So, what's going on in your world, Ben? Anything exciting happening? Not too much out of the ordinary. Work keeps me busy, and I'm still trying to finish that DIY bookshelf project. You know the one I started months ago. Oh yeah, the weekend project, that's been ongoing for a while now. Exactly. But I promise I'll finish it soon. On a brighter note, I finally joined that photography club I've been wanting to check out. That's fantastic. Photography is such a cool hobby. What type of photography are you interested in? Landscape mostly, but I'm also curious about exploring portrait photography. Maybe you can be my first model sometime. I don't know about that but I'd love to see some of your photos when you take some. Speaking of hobbies, have you started writing that novel you mentioned? I've actually written a couple of chapters, but I feel a bit stuck on the plot. Maybe a day at the beach will spark some inspiration. That's a good idea. Sometimes a change of scenery can do wonders for creativity. But don't worry about being stuck. Writer's block happens to the best of us. Thanks, Ava. You're always so supportive. So, what about you? Any updates on your end? Well, I'm still teaching, and I love it. My students are always keeping me on my toes. I'm also considering taking some online courses to refresh my knowledge and learn new teaching methods. Sounds like a great plan. You're such a dedicated teacher, your students are lucky to have you. Thanks, Ben. Now, what should we do next after finishing our drinks? We could stroll along the beach and collect some seashells. Remember how much fun we had doing that as kids. Oh, I'd love that. It brings back so many memories. Do you remember when we built that elaborate sandcastle and decorated it with little flags? That was epic. We were quite the architects back then. We were. We spent hours on it, and then a rogue wave came along and washed it all away. True. But that's part of the fun at the beach, right? The impermanence of it all. This is a beautiful place. What are your dreams for the future, Ben? Honestly, I just want to be happy and fulfilled. I want to find a career that I'm passionate about and continue to explore my creative side through photography. Maybe even travel the world and capture its beauty in my lens. Those are wonderful dreams, Ben. I have no doubt you'll achieve them. 
What about you? Where do you see yourself in the future? I dream of one day opening a small bookstore, filled with the scent of old books and the warmth of friendly conversation. A place where people can escape into the world of stories and connect with others who share their love of reading. Ava, that's such a beautiful dream. You have such a kind and caring heart, you'd be the perfect owner of a bookstore. Thank you, Ben. Your friendship means the world to me. You're always there to listen and support me, no matter what. And you for me, Ava. Hey, how's it going? I'm good, thanks. Just doing some grocery shopping. How about you? Same here. I need to stock up on some essentials. By the way, have you noticed that they started carrying a new brand of coffee? No, I haven't. Is it good? I haven't tried it yet, but I heard it's really good. It's supposed to be organic and fair trade. That's great. I'm always looking for ways to support fair trade and sustainable products. Me too. It's important to think about the impact our purchases have on the environment and the people who produce them. Definitely. Speaking of which, have you tried any new recipes lately? I have, actually. I recently made a vegetarian lasagna, and it turned out really well. That sounds delicious. I've been trying to eat less meat lately, so I'm always looking for new vegetarian recipes to try. Me too. It's a great way to reduce our carbon footprint and improve our health at the same time. Absolutely. Have you been doing anything else to live a more sustainable lifestyle? I've been trying to reduce my plastic usage by bringing my own bags and containers to the store. I also started composting at home. That's awesome. I've been meaning to start composting too. It's a great way to reduce food waste and create nutrient-rich soil for plants. Definitely. It's amazing how much of an impact small changes can have on the environment. Absolutely. Every little bit helps. So, have you been doing anything fun lately? I went to a yoga retreat last weekend and it was amazing. It was a great way to relax and recharge. That sounds wonderful. I've been meaning to try yoga, but I've never really known where to start. There are a lot of great resources online, like videos and tutorials. You could also try taking a class at a local studio. I'll have to check that out. Thanks for the suggestion. No problem. Have you been watching any good movies or TV shows lately? I recently started watching this new documentary series on Netflix about climate change. 
It's really eye-opening and informative. That sounds interesting. I'll have to check it out. You should. It's a great way to learn more about the environment and what we can do to protect it. Definitely. Well, I should get going. It was good talking to you. It was good talking to you, too. Take care. You too. See you later.